I'm Jeff Bichel. Welcome to ACC Soccer Weekly here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Coming up, we talk with soccer legend John Harks. He's a UVA guy. I'll ask him to break down the ACC, both men and women, and I'll get him to fess up about why he's rooting for Wake this season. That is treason. Okay, let's start with the new rankings. The Tar Heels lose to Bill and Mary and a draw with Wake and Forrest. So they fall from number one to number 12 in the new coaches poll. Notre Dame is up to number two in the country. Maryland stays at eight. Clemson moves up, but runs into the Fighting Irish Saturday. The Deeks jump four spots to 20. For the women, the ACC has six teams in the top 13. UVA still undefeated. Then it's Notre Dame, Florida State, and North Carolina, four, five, and six. The Irish and 12th ranked Hokies meet in Blacksburg next Sunday, that same day. Wake Forest hosts the top ranked Cavaliers. Okay, we've reached extra time here on ACC Soccer Weekly. I'm excited to welcome former U.S. national team and UVA great John Harks. John, thank you. First, let's start with Charlottesville, that UVA women's team. They're undefeated. I was in Durham yeah. last week to see that incredible comeback against Duke. From what you've seen so far, is this the best women's team in college soccer? Well, it's been a very good year uh, for Steve Swanson's team. Uh, I think what the number one thing is that he sets a, a great culture uh, in that environment there, and he demands a lot from his players. And, you know, he already has the experience of what he's been able to do at the national team level with the U-20s. Um, so what you're starting to see now is that, you know, he's demanding that more of the, the college players as well. Uh, certainly you have to highlight a player like Morgan Bryan. I mean, she's just come into her own uh, certainly this year. Uh, the confidence that she has, and, and you see that transition into a national team call-up for the women's team. So this team is going for it. They're playing extremely well. We caught their last game. Um, obviously, I'm in Virginia, so I'm not too far away from UVA, uh, and they're playing very well. I mean, the great staff that they have there, Ronnie Rav as well, and uh, Kerry D uh, uh, underneath Steve Swanson. So they, they set a really good culture there. They played the game the right way, and UVA women are really going, playing very well. Yeah, they appear to be as explosive as any team in the country. Let's talk about the men for a second. Five ACC teams in the top 20. Is there one team we're not paying enough attention to that could be a national title contender? <laughs> I, I think that uh, it, it's early. Um, you, you know, you see so much of the parity, I think, this year, um, right, right across the board in all D1 schools, not just the ACC, but in, in different conferences across the country. Um, it seems as if this year... Uh, there's a lot of opportunities there for the underdog to come in, uh, be organized, and really shut down some of the big dogs out there. Um, I guess in terms of ACC, you have to think of Maryland uh, always being a, a very prominent program there under Sasha Sarovsky. Uh Certainly Wake Forest play a very attractive style of soccer. They've been very good. Those two are tied for the best records in the ACC so far, uh, but I know there's so much more to see in this, uh, this conference moving forward. You brought up Sasho's Terps. You'll be calling the action Tuesday here on the ACC Digital Network. It's number eight, Maryland, at number two, Notre Dame. Break down that matchup for me. Well, I, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be a great game and, and certainly a test for both sides. Um, I think Sasha Sarovsky, the Terps on the road, have had their issues. Um, a slow start to the season this year, certainly out of conference games. Um, but having said that, they did turn things around. In conference with ACC, they've been playing very well. Uh, scoring probably 14 out of their 20 goals in the second half of each of their games. And, you know, what that tells me is that they have to have patience with themselves. Um, Patrick Mullen is certainly a player to look out for. Um, he, not only last year, but also this year, has been one of the key guys to really generate the attack uh, for them. But three players share the goal-scoring attributes up top. So, really, Notre Dame has to be wary of not just one guy in Patrick, but also the two other goal scorers right now. Shibo is doing such a great job. Very good pace. Um, you also have Sonny Jane who comes off the bench when he needs to, and it can provide any spark for Sasha's team. But high-pressing situation for Maryland. They've always played that aggressive style, uh, and they like to get after it. Notre Dame, interesting. Bobby Clark has done such a great job. We know how experienced he is, and, and both these two uh, these managers are going to go at it um, in the game on Tuesday. I'm really looking forward to it. I think Notre Dame has done a great job of just containing teams, um, having great patience, absorbing some pressure, and then playing through that midfield and really dictating the play. Um, you see this year as well that uh, not only are they being a, a threat in terms of counterattack, but I just also think they use the, wi the width very well. Uh, and Bobby Clark has always been a guy that says, look, I want to make sure that I manage the game well. Uh, his players have done a very good job so far, but 
you know, having said that, this is going to be a test for Notre Dame. And I think that Bobby Clark, even though the Terps have had a tough time going on the road so far, um, I think Bobby Clark has to be very wary of the way that uh, Maryland like to attack right away. Again, that's Notre Dame and Maryland, Tuesday at 7, streaming live right here on the ACCDN. All right, last thing, John, fess up. Even though you went to UVA, you're now a Wake Forest fan, right? I, I am, and uh, you have to be. Come on, Jeff, come on. You can't give me a <laughs> stick for that. Hey, no. man, I'm going to be loyal. You know, my, uh, my son's doing well down there. Uh, you know, Jay Vidovich uh, and Ryan Martin and, and the staff do a great job at Wake Forest. It's an excellent program. And uh, Ian's uh, he's playing well. He's enjoying it. Good transition for him. So much to learn at that stage. But so far, they're having a pretty decent season. So I'm a deek, man. I got to wear the black and gold, guys. I'm sorry. No, no apologies necessary. That's what dads are supposed to do. Two assists already for Ian so far. John, thank you. We will see you Tuesday for ACC Soccer right here on the ACCDN. And thank you for watching ACC Soccer Weekly here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.